From now on, it's all basically standard kind of techniques. I think the most difficult part of this project is that we're dealing with a mural that's over 14 feet high by 7 feet wide. So in terms of manipulating it and um, you know, doing the steps, uh, is, I think that's the more complicated part, is just handling it. Because you can't roll the canvas off the surface, we made the decision that the plaster that was still adhered to the canvas had to come with the mural when we were detaching it. This yellow surface that you see here is actually the back of the lead white adhesive that was initially applied to the plaster wall, uh, but that's where the moisture has affected the bond between those surfaces, so the lead white adhesive has actually remained attached to the canvas and come with it, and very little of it remained on the actual plaster wall. And then the white chunks that you see towards the perimeter of the mural are the plaster layers that we're um, carefully uh, detaching from the surface. So the painting was prepared, we uh, tacked on an interleaf fabric, which means it sits between the original surface, the reverse of that, and the honeycomb panel that it's going to go on. Then we flipped the painting on its back from the floor onto this work table, which is also going to be our lining table. And that then allowed us to remove all the support panels that had been attached to the face of the mural when we were actually doing the removal from the plaster wall in the niche. Uh, which were just screwed down and sort of stretched on the edge of the fabric that was on the surface of the painting. That fabric we uh, removed uh, by applying uh, the appropriate solvent to dissolve the adhesive, uh, making sure to, as we're pulling the, the linen back that you're holding it nice and flat. You don't want to pull on it upwards because then you distort the painting and you could actually rip the paper facing that's on the painting also. So it's a very careful, methodical process. That all came off very successfully and right now we're in the middle of just doing some stabilization of the paint on the fronts, a few areas that need it, and preparing the, uh, the surface of the painting for the actual lining procedure or mounting onto the solid support panel that we have. Working with such a, a large scale piece of artwork has been a big challenge. I'll work sheet by sheet. The sheets are about um, a foot and a half by a foot and I'll use the mineral spirits to dissolve the artist's varnish, which is used to adhere the Japanese tissue paper. So the painting originally was attached to a plaster support, and we decided that we weren't going to reinstate the plaster in that niche, because if there's ever an issue with water again, all we're going to do is recreate the damage that occurred in the past. So we wanted to avoid that and we made the decision to mount the painting onto an aluminum honeycomb panel. The beauty of the panel is that once we've installed it, it'll be easily detached. There'll just be some brackets holding it against the side of the niche. And again, in the future, if they have to remove it, they won't be going through this procedure. They can basically pull the panel out of the wall and it's ready to go. So the next phase now is taking advantage of the fact that uh, aluminum is a great conductor of heat. And the adhesive that we're going to apply to the panel is heat activated. So what we'll be doing is creating an envelope around the whole panel. You draw a vacuum on that, you pull the air out of it, and then there will be heat sheets, four by eight sections of silicone underneath the panel. The adhesive is activated, and then when you get to that point, you turn off the heat, and you cool it down under vacuum and the adhesive is then set and holding it at room temperature. And then basically once the painting is in that state that we've got it all basically restored to the point we want it to be, we will pick up the panel, move it back down to the second floor into the grand staircase. Staging will be set up ahead of time and if all goes well it's going to look like we didn't do anything. <laughs>